Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Into Mobile, and I'm here today again with you looking at Windows Phone 7. Today we're going to be taking a look at tips and tricks, things that you can do to make your handset that much better. We're going to start off first by looking at the home screen. As you can see, Windows Phone comes with a nice live tiles as a home screen. There's a whole bunch that come installed on your home screen by default. As you can see, I've moved them around and I have some gaps. You can add your own applications to the home screen. You don't have to stick with just the default. The way of adding them, you head over to your launcher and you select the apps that you want to add. I'm going to pick this time the calculator. You tap and hold on the calculator in a contacts menu. Contacts menu will appear. In this case, it says pin to start. Tap on pin to start and your application is added to the bottom of your home screen. Now apps are not the only thing you can add to your home screen. You can also add contacts. If you have a contact that you email or send a text message to, you can add them right to your open space on your home screen and gives you one click access to their information. To do that, we have to navigate down to the People Hub, take a look at all of our contacts, we pick which one we want and once again we tap and hold. When we tap and hold that context menu pops up and you click on pin to start to send it to the home screen. There we have our contact shows up at the bottom. If we were to tap on it, it gives us a profile information. It gives you one click access to calling them, one click access to texting them. So now we've seen that you can add a application to your home screen. You can add a contact to your home screen. You can also add a OneNote document to your home screen. If you have a document that you edit a lot or a document that has information that you always are referring back to, you can make it easy on yourself by putting it right on your home screen. I have a couple OneNote documents here. And the, the technique is the same. You tap on the document, you hold, and that menu appears, and you click on pin to start. The new icon will appear at the bottom of your home screen, and if you tap on it, it'll automatically open that document. It's nice, quick, and a very convenient way of giving you one-click access to your information. So in addition to applications, contacts and documents, you can also add web pages to your home screen. If you have a web page to go to a lot, you can add it right up front to make it easy to get to. We open up Internet Explorer. We'll just use the default uh, web page in this case. I'll give it a second to, to load up here. Once it's loaded, you'll notice down in the corner you have three little dots. Those three little dots are indicative of another menu. If you grab the dot and you pull upward, it'll pull up another menu. In this case here, you'll see down at the bottom, you have our familiar pin to start. If we click on pin to start, it'll take us to our home screen. And now you'll see your web page and a quick uh, screenshot of it at the bottom. Tap on it, it'll automatically launch the browser and take you to your website. Now once you've got your home screen all set up, you've got documents added, you've got contacts, you have your favorite applications, you might want to start moving things around. Moving things around is very easy on Windows Phone. You tap and hold on a live tile. You notice now how it's been selected and highlighted. It's also attached to your finger. You can move it around to wherever you want. We want to put it in this gap and we put it here. Like it tap it again to make it stay. You don't have to always put stuff in an empty space. Say you want, instead of the phone, you want your mail right up top. You can drag a tile on top of each other like that and tap and it'll position it. It'll move the other tile over to the left or down below depending upon where there are empty spaces. If you don't like your arrangement of tiles, you think you have too many, you want to get rid of some, Deleting them from your home screen is very easy as well. Let's go down to the bottom here. I want to get rid of my web page. I tap and hold. It gets highlighted again. But if you notice, when you highlight a tile, you get another little icon in the corner. This time it's a push pin with a little line through it. If you tap on that icon, 
that tile will disappear. Now to really make your home screen yourself, you can change around some of the items on it. Not only move them and delete them, but you can change how they look. One good example is the Pictures Hub. It comes with a default picture. You might not like that one. You might want to put one of your personalized ones. To do that, you click on the Pictures Hub to travel to it. And anywhere on a screen where there's not a picture or another menu, you just tap and hold. You tap and hold, you see there are two options. One will say change background, one will say change it for me. If you click on this last one here, change it for me, the handset will automatically pick one of your pictures and change your background for you. If you'd like a little bit more control, you click on change background, you can go into your photos and you can select one. We'll select that one here. We'll click on the check mark to accept it. Well, it's kind of neat. It'll change it here within the pictures hub. You notice my background is a lot different now. And if you go to your home screen, you'll also notice it's been updated on the home screen as well. So it changes it in both places within the pictures hub itself and also on your home screen. Well, we're back at the home screen again. We've already taken a look at adding contacts, applications, documents, and web pages to your home screen. There's a few other little things you can do to it. One of them is changing the color. Right now I have a lovely magenta. If you don't like that, changing it is very quick and easy. Well, I'm going to hop over to our launcher, scroll down to our settings, and inside the settings, the second one down is theme. Click on theme, and this is where you change your settings for your home screen. And also for the background on your phone, you can go from dark to light if you prefer white as the background. I'm going to go back to dark because I like that a little bit better. You can also change your accent color. This will change the color of your live tiles. It will also change the color of words when you select them when you're writing. Um, it basically it changes the accent anytime anything's highlighted or it will change the color of your home screen. I've selected brown. I'm going to move it back and move to our home screen and you'll see everything is now changed from magenta to brown. Windows Phone doesn't let you change too, too much on your home screen. You can't go wild and crazy, but at least you can change the color.